Hi, welcome to Biketo Yoga's daily yoga practice. My name is Jess and today we'll be doing 20 minutes of general yoga. Um, so a couple of props you might consider for today uh, to have on hand is a strap and a block. If you haven't got a strap, you can use a belt or anything long. If you haven't got a block, um, just some books or anything solid. So let's just come to sit in our seated cross legs. Let's bring the backs of the hands to the backs of the knees. Let the thumb and the forefinger come together to create a mudra. Close the eyes down. And we're just gonna take a couple of nice, deep cleansing breaths. This will just help us to center our awareness in the moment. Taking a nice inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Doing two more of these, inhale. Exhale. With the next inhalation, following the air through the body. And this time as we exhale, exhaling through the mouth. Beautiful, opening the eyes. Let's bring the legs out in front. Just bring the hands down beside the hips. And we're just going to do some circles with our feet. So going to the left first. And then coming back in the opposite direction. Just releasing through the ankles. Beautiful, point the toes. And then dorsiflex the feet. So we're pulling the toes back towards the body. Beautiful, let's come up onto all fours. So getting into some cat and cow to release through the spine. We've got the toes tucked under at the back. When you're ready, we're gonna inhale, draw the shoulders away from the ears. Let the, let the belly melt through towards the earth. Heart's nice and bright. We're gazing up towards the ceiling. Couple of nice breaths here. Really let that belly drop through towards the earth. Beautiful, and on your next exhalation, let's roll the spine over. Draw the belly button up towards the spine. Press the hands into the earth, and see if we can press them slightly forward. So we want a real nice rounding through the back of the shoulders. Feel as if we're actually pulling the back of the heart up towards the ceiling. Inhale through the nose, looking up. Draw the shoulders away from the ears, let the belly melt through. Exhale, roll the spine over. Inhale to look up. And exhale, roll the spine over. Bring the tops of the feet onto the earth. And we're just gonna pull the hips back towards the heels and come into a nice child's pose. So when you're ready, bring the forehead down onto the earth, close the eyes down for a moment. Taking a couple of nice breaths here. Relax through the sides of the waist. Inhale, looking up in between the hands. And we're just gonna walk the hands over to the left. So we're getting a beautiful stretch right down the right side waist. Take an inhale here, look forward. And as we exhale, release the forehead back down onto the earth. Nice deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Inhale, look up. Walk the hands back to center, exhale here. And when you're ready, walking the hands over to the other side. So we're walking the hands over to the right. And we're getting that beautiful stretch down the left side waist. Inhale to look up. Exhale, bring the forehead down onto the earth. And when you're ready, inhale, looking up, walk the hands back to centre. So we're just coming to a nice twist. We're going to bring the outside of the left arm to the outside of the right leg. Hands come together, press the hands together, and we're just gazing up past that right elbow. Take a couple of breaths here, so we're really releasing through the muscles of the back. Relax the shoulders. Beautiful, inhale, let's come to centre, exhale here. And when you're ready, coming to the same posture on the other side, outside of the right arm, onto the outside of the left leg, press the hands together, looking up, nice deep breaths. Beautiful, inhale, let's come to centre. Pop the hands down onto the earth, tuck the toes under at the back, and we'll press up into our first downward facing dog. Let's keep the knees bent, and keep the heels up off the earth. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Let the shoulder blades shift down the back. And when you're ready, just start to extend through the knees and if we can, start to let the heels come down towards the earth. 
Inhale as we look up in between the hands, step or lightly jump into your half standing forward fold so the feet come up towards the hands. Fingertips are either on the earth or on the shins, whichever is more comfortable for you. Let's take a couple of breaths here. So we're releasing through the hamstrings. And as we exhale, we're going to fold down into our standing forward fold. So we let the body come down over the legs, palms and the hands are down on the earth. We can bend the knees here if the hamstrings are tight. We also have the option to use our block. If we have tight hamstrings, we can rest the hands on the block. So always making sure that we're nice and comfortable. Let the crown of the head, the top of the head shift towards the mat. Take some nice deep cleansing breath. And as we inhale, bring the hands out to the sides, slowly rise, coming into our upward salute, let the palms touch. Exhale, hands come down through the center of the body. When you're ready, inhale, bring the hands back up, let the palms touch. Exhale, swan dive down, back into our standing forward fold. Inhale, half standing forward fold. And as we exhale, grounding down with the hands, step or lightly jump back into your plank pose. Take a nice deep breath in here and as we exhale keep the elbows in nice and close to the body as we slow a lot, slowly lower all the way down onto the earth. So exhale slowly lowering. Beautiful. Tops of the feet are on the earth. Inhale. Lift the chest as we come into our baby cobra. Press the toes into the earth. Exhale bring the chest down. Let's bring the hands slightly out in front. Let them point outwards slightly. Inhale, extend through the elbows this time, so going a little bit deeper into the back. Let's take a couple of nice deep breaths here. Let the shoulder blade shift down the back. If you can, close the eyes down. Take the awareness into the body. Sense how your chest is feeling. Your back. And see if you can relax through the lower back. Beautiful, let's exhale, bend into the elbows, bring the chest down onto the earth. So we're just going to bring the hands out in front, palms of the hands are down on the earth. And when you're ready, tuck the left toes under at the back and we're going to lift the left foot up off the earth. Reach around with the left hand and we're holding onto the outside of the left foot. We're going to take an inhale and as we exhale, press the foot into the hand, lift that left knee up off the earth. So I want you to stay here if that's enough for you. If you can go a little bit further, we can lift the right hand off the earth. Take some nice deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. See if we can relax through the lower back. And as we exhale, let's bring that left knee down. Pop the left hand back down onto the ground. Tuck the right toes under at the back. Lift the right foot, reaching around with the right hand, holding onto the outside of the right foot. Inhale, lift that right knee up off the earth. So we're gently pressing the right foot into the right hand. If it's available to you, maybe lift the left hand. Nice deep breaths. Excellent. Release the right knee, left hand down, and bring the right foot back down. When you're ready, bring both feet up off the earth, reaching around with both hands, holding onto the outsides of the feet. Inhale and we're going to press the feet into the hands, lift the chest. So we're bringing the toes up towards the ceiling. Try not to strain in this posture and instead focus on relaxing through the back. Relax through the shoulders. Let's take a couple of deep breaths here. Excellent. Release the knees back down. Bring the hands back down onto the earth. Tuck the toes under at the back and we're going to inhale up. Downward facing dog going slowly. Inhale, looking up in between the hands, step or lightly jump, half standing forward fold. Exhale, fold down into your standing forward fold. Nice deep inhale to rise, bring the hands out to the sides. Nice and mindful as the palms touch. Exhale, hands come down through the centre of the body. And when you're ready, inhale, bring the hands back up, option to slightly back bend here. And as we exhale, let's swan dive down into our standing forward fold. Inhale, half standing forward fold. Exhale, ground down with the hands, step or lightly jump, plank pose. 
So this time as we lower, we're just going to lower to Chaturanga, which is a couple of inches off the earth. So take a nice deep inhale. And as we exhale, keep the elbows in close to the body, lowering to Chaturanga. And then we're going to inhale into Upward Facing Dog. Beautiful. Taking a breath here. Inhale. And as we exhale, coming into our Downward Facing Dog. Let's take a couple of nice deep cleansing breaths here. Press the hands down into the earth. Close the eyes down if it's available to you. Inhale, looking up in between the hands. Step or lightly jump, half standing forward fold. Exhale, fold down into your standing forward fold. Inhale to rise, bring your hands all the way up. Let the palms touch. Exhale, hands come down through the center of the body. So when you're ready, we're gonna take a big step back with that left foot, leave the right foot in front. So the left foot's on a 45 degree angle. The toes of the left foot pointing towards the left corner of the mat. Grab onto the hips, square them off to the front of the mat. Take an inhale, bring the hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale, sink down into that front right leg. Press down into the earth with the outside of the left foot, so we're nice and strong through that back leg. We're just going to bring the hands behind the body, interlace the fingers. Inhale, lift the chest up towards the ceiling. Let the hands draw down towards the left heel. On your next inhalation, bring the hands back up towards the ceiling. Exhale, sink down to that right leg. When you're ready, bring the hands down onto the earth, either side of the right foot. We're going to set the left foot up to meet the right. Half standing forward fold. Exhale, fold down, standing forward fold. Inhale to rise. Hands come out to the side, nice deep breath in. Exhale, hands come down through the center of the body. When you're ready, inhale, bring the hands back up towards the ceiling, let the palms touch. Option to slightly back bend. And let's just bring the hands down through chest center. Beautiful, let's take a big step back with the right foot, coming into the same posture on the other side. So again, right toes are pointing towards the right corner of the mat. Hands to the hips, square the hips off to the front of the mat. Inhale, hands come up towards the ceiling. Exhale, sink down into that front left leg. Nice deep breaths here. When you're ready, interlace the fingers behind the body. Let the hands draw down towards that right heel as we lift up through the chest. Nice deep breaths. Beautiful. On your next inhalation, bring the hands back up towards the ceiling. Exhale, sink down to that front left leg. Bring the hands down onto the earth, either side of the left foot, and this time we'll step back into our downward facing dog. And when you're ready, we're just going to bring the knees down onto the earth, sit down on the heels. Beautiful. So we're just going to come into a, a couple more back bends. So let's come to sit down, bring the soles of the feet down onto the earth, knees are bent. Holding onto the backs of the legs, let's take an inhale, exhale, roll the spine down along the earth as we come to lay down. So we're going to a couple of bridge poses here. Bring the heels in towards the sit bones. Palms of the hands are down on the earth. Fingertips are facing towards the heels. Take an inhale, lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Draw the shoulder blades in towards each other. If you can, close the eyes down. Take a couple of breaths here. So again, we want to see if we can relax through the lower back. See if we can take the work into the thighs and into the feet. Try not to let the feet or the knees splay out. They have a tendency to splay out. So see if we can keep them pointing forwards. Knees are about hips width apart. And on your next exhalation, let's roll the spine down along the earth, taking a little break. When you're ready, we'll come into our next bridge pose. Inhale, lift the hips. Draw the shoulder blades in towards each other. And this time we'll interlace the fingers underneath the body. See if we can get the elbows a little bit closer. Press the hands into the earth, nice deep breaths. Beautiful, let's release the hands, roll the spine down on the earth. And when you're ready, coming into one more bridge pose, so we're going to take an inhale, lift the hips up, draw the shoulder blades in towards each other, and this time we're going to pop the hands underneath the hips. Gently press into the hips. So that might be enough for you, if it is, just stay there. 
If you can go a little bit further, then come with me. Inhale, come up onto the tiptoes. We're gonna walk the feet in towards the body just to where it's comfortable. And when you're ready, exhale, release the heels back down towards the earth. So you should feel a beautiful stretch through the front and back body. Press the feet into the earth, nice deep breaths here. Beautiful, let's exhale, release the hands, roll the spine down along the earth. Let's bring the knees in towards the chest, give them a hug. With the eyes closed down, just taking a moment to breathe. Feel the space around the heart. Beautiful, let's bring the arms out to the sides, take an inhale. And as we exhale, let's drop the legs over to the left. And we're just going to gaze towards the right hand. So we might need to shuffle a little bit to get that right shoulder blade back on the earth. See if we can close the eyes down, take a couple of nice deep breaths. And as we inhale, bring the knees back to chest centre. Exhale, drop the knees over to the right, gazing to the left hand, shuffling a little bit again to get that left shoulder blade back on the earth. If we can, close the eyes down. Consciously relax through the shoulders. Soften the belly. Inhale, bring the knees back to chest center. Give them a hug. So we're gonna keep hugging the right knee in towards the body. Let's extend the left leg out long. So hug that right knee in. We're just gonna hold on to the right knee with the left hand. Bring the right arm out. Inhale, and as we exhale, bring the right knee across the body, over to the left. It may even be able to get down onto the floor. Again, shuffle a little bit, get that right shoulder blade back on the earth, and if it's available to you, gaze towards the right hand. Option to close the eyes down, nice deep breath. Inhale, bring the right knee back to chest centre, give it a hug. Exhale, bring the right leg long, left knee in towards the chest, give it a hug. Holding onto the left knee with the right hand, bring the left arm out. Bring the left knee across the body, see if we can get it coming down towards the floor on the right. We're gazing towards the left hand, got that left shoulder blade back on the earth. Option to close the eyes down, feel that beautiful stretch through the muscles of the back. See if we can breathe into any areas of the body where we're feeling tension or tightness. We all hold tension in different areas of the body. Yoga is a beautiful way to discover where we hold tension and to begin to let go and release. Inhale, bring that left knee back to chest center, give it a hug. And extend the left leg out long. So we're just coming to our fish pose to finish our practice today. We'll pop the palms of the hands down onto the earth beside the hips. When you're ready, inhale, lift the bottom, pop the hands underneath the bottom and draw the shoulder blades and the elbows in towards each other. So when we're doing this, the chest should start to lift. When you're ready, we're gonna take an inhale, press into the elbows, see if we can lift the chest up towards the ceiling. And then as we exhale, gently release the crown of the head, the top of the head towards the earth. So let's take a couple of breaths here. We've got an option here to lift the feet off the earth if you want to get into your core strength. And when you're ready, chin comes in towards the chest. Beautiful, let's release the hands and we'll come straight into our Shavasana. Palms of the hands are facing up towards the ceiling. Let the feet drop out to the sides. Let the fingers curl. Spend just a couple of moments here, becoming very aware of the breath, resting a very gentle awareness on every inhalation and every exhalation. Becoming very aware of the activity of the mind. We don't necessarily have to stop the thoughts, but just becoming aware of where our mind is going today. Allow 
allowing yourself to be completely at ease, allowing the body to relax completely. And just starting to draw a little bit of awareness back to the surface, back into the room. You can move the fingers and toes a little. And when you're ready, let's bring the knees in towards the chest. I'm just going to roll onto the side and slowly as you need to, coming up to sitting in our simple seated cross legs. Or as always, if you've got your half lotus or your full lotus in your practice, you can come into that now. Let's bring the hands to chest centre. Close the eyes down. Thank you so for practicing today. Namaste. Thanks so much for practicing today. If you'd like more yoga and meditation practices, jump onto our website, theketoyoga.com. Um, and if you are on Instagram and Facebook, make sure that you follow us on there. We do lots of daily yoga and meditation inspiration on there. So hope to see you there. Happy practicing. Namaste.